Okay, so we're here with our second Neon Velo Rider of the Day, Alex Minting on the left, and obviously lead fit technician Jimmy Wilson on the right. If I start with you, Alex, um, can I just get a brief overview of what you're expecting and looking for during today's fit? Uh, yeah, I was expecting, um, so I've always known that I'm going to sit to at one sort of, at an angle when I'm sat on the saddle. Uh, I just wanted to get a, a second opinion on whether I actually did and uh, how I could and fix that problem. Uh, um. Okay, and Jimmy, did you, did you see the same thing when you saw Alex on the bike? Yeah, exactly as you described really. We saw that, and if we look at the pressure map that we took initially, we can see that uh, there's a huge amount of pressure uh, in, the, in the middle on the right hand side of the, of the saddle because Alex is, uh, is not sitting straight on the saddle and you can see that this red line on the, uh, on the pressure map represents the, the movement of the central pressure on the saddle. So uh, instead of moving uh, from, from left to right as he pedals, Alex is actually moving almost from front to back. Um, and the issue with that is that uh, he has to find stability elsewhere in the, in the bike pit. So um, he would be bracing with his arms possibly, he's been doing something with his foot to actually correct that, that, that movement um, because he's not properly anchored on the saddle. Um, so what we did was to change the saddle to one that had a, a more pronounced cut out in the saddle and, and one that encouraged uh, Alex to um, support weight more effectively on his sit bones and therefore get more pelvic stability. And you can see from the second pressure map that we've got a much more uh, stable pelvis. Uh, you can see that the, that the red line which represents the centre of pressure is much more horizontal. Um, and we've got a clear channel in the middle, um, so all the weight is being supported by the skeleton, um, which is what we want. And we've got a very firm platform for, for Alex's uh, strong muscle groups to work from. Cool. And Alex, in terms of on the bike feel, do you feel that what you're seeing on the screen is now represented on the bike? Yeah, def definitely. I feel, I feel a lot more supported. And the overall fit position the now overall. that where you are, are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Happy with that, yeah. And is there anything else, any carry away messages for anything Alex needs to do differently or is it purely a technical change in this instance? Uh, it's going to take him a, a, quite a while I think to get used to sitting a little bit further back on the saddle uh, and also he's got to resist the temptation to, to move forward on the saddle as he gets lower and more aggressive in his, uh, in his riding position. He's just got to concentrate on, uh, on establishing, uh, maintaining good sit bone contact and also good, good posture, um, the same as we talked about with Debo, a uh, nice uh, straight back. And, extended spine. Um, Excellent. And Alex, just finally, you got everything that you wanted from today's fit. What are your sort of goals and ambitions for the upcoming season? Um, sort of going away for a few months um, and then when it's come back to the start of the race season, we concentrate mainly on the, the bigger races, the elite series, um, just see where it goes really. Excellent. Okay, well good luck with that and uh, thank you for coming to CycleFit. Thank you for having me.